Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the principle of solar cell. <coughs> the solar cell is also called as a photovoltaic cell. Here, this solar cell or a photovoltaic cell which converts directly the sun's radiation energy into a electricity. This is the one of the solar energy conversion method and it is a very important method conversion and convenient also and in the large scale the power generation can be carried out by using the this solar cell energy conversion and later in the next session I am going to discuss about the solar cell power plant but here in this session I will discuss about the principle of that solar cell how the the conversion will be taking place solar energy into the electricity and how the PV shell works that I am going to discuss. Here solar photovoltaic cell or a solar cell consists of a two layers of the semiconductor material. One layer is the N type silicon or a negatively charged silicon and another layer is a P type silicon or a positively charged silicon. And these two layers of the semiconductor materials are connected together from say NP junction and here the at the top the anti reflecting coating is provided so that the sunlight falling on that one it will not be reflected it will be absorbed and here when the sunlight falls on the N type of the silicon material in the form of photons it will absorb the radiation energy the in the form of photons the radiation energy will be falling and that will be absorbed by the n type silicon material and when the sufficient the photons are absorbed by the n type silicon material then the it will release the electrons it will be releases the electrons and it whatever the electrons are released that is connected in the circuit to the positively charged layer and in this one the electrons released those will be flowing in the circuit and that will be reaching to the other layers and here the in the uh, first layer the electrons are releasing in the entire silicon materials and other layer it will be the hole are present positively charged hole are present then here the whatever the flow of electrons in the circuit are there that will be constitutes a flow of the electricity and if you connect the any load to that one okay direct application or it will be stored in the battery then the heat electricity will be stored in that one and the electricity applying load we can have from it that is how the by using the two layers of the semiconductor materials mind when the sunlight falls the electricity will be generated and similarly here the another diagram here you can see that one what are the layers thickness are there the thickness also mentioned and n type region and p region the base material it will be there and whenever the sunlight falls okay then the electrons will be releasing and that electron will be flowing in the circuit and the circuit is connected between the this n type material and the p type material and thereby constituting the electricity flow in the circuit and that can be connected to a load or it can be stored the electricity will be stored like that the energy will be converted the explanation of this one we are going to take here the solar cell or a photovoltaic cell whatever is there that will it is a device that is that directly converts the sun's radiation into electrical energy that device will directly converts the sun's radiation into electrical energy it is made up of two layers of semiconductor material the first layer has negative charge that is n type silicon while other layer has a positive charge p type silicon sunlight is composed of photons of solar energy sunlight whatever is there it is a consists of the photons of the solar energy when sunlight strikes the photovoltaic cell the semiconductor material absorbs photon from the sunlight and negatively charged semiconductor material it will absorb the photons from the sunlight when the enough photons are absorbed by the negative layer 
of the semiconductor material electrons are released from the material which then move towards the positive layer this move towards the positive layer this flow of the electrons constitute constitutes an electric current which can be captured in the circuit connecting the two layers of the semiconductor material if you connect the two layers of the semiconductor material then the electricity flows from the negatively charged layer to the positive layer layer for charged layer thereby the flow of the electricity will take place then the electricity generated by the photovoltaic cell can be stored in the batteries or used directly okay but here the the whatever the this releasing of the electrons is there and how it will be taking place and what is the effect of that it is there it is it is explained here the direct conversion of the solar energy into electrical energy by means of the photovoltaic effect that effect is a photovoltaic effect that is the conversion of light or other electromagnetic radiation not only light other electromagnetic radiation also it will convert into electricity the photovoltaic effect is defined as the generation of the electromotive force as a result of absorption of ionizing radiation energy conversion devices which are used to convert the sunlight to electricity by the use of photovoltaic effects called solar cells the whatever the uh, devices are there which will convert that is a uh, uh, sun's light into a electricity those are called as a solar cells then single solar cell is called as a solar cell or more generally a photovoltaic cell and combination of such cells are designed to increase the electric power output is called a solar model or solar array here the single cell working we have explained and if that single cell it will producing a, a smaller quantity of the power output okay usually uh, the small quantity it will be producing and later if we want to have the more power from it more power if we want to that one uh, the whatever the number of solar cells are that those are connected in a series and those are connected in the sequence and thereby producing we can uh, more power production we can have and such a whatever the um, number of solar cells connected each other those are called as a solar model or a solar array thereby require depending upon the requirement of the power output we can use the many number of the solar cells and this can be used for the that either for the domestic application or it may be used for the uh, agriculture water pumping application or it can be used for the some of the commercial applications also like that the solar models and solar arrays we are going to use which constitutes a, a solar cells and the, the common applications here i have mentioned that is a domestic lighting street lighting railway signals these are the common applications but there are many number of applications are there where the solar photovoltaics are used for the power generation okay this is as i mentioned this is one of the um, important solar energy conversion methods and by which we are going to get the electricity directly the other methods i have already discussed okay and here this is the only working principle of the solar cell i have discussed then in the next session i am going to discuss about the solar photovoltaic power plant in the power plant how the power generation in the mass production we can carry out okay that we can discuss in the next session thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment thank you once